reinforce what Beth said about protecting demographics and uh, because at Ivy Tech it's not older people who are using the transit, it's younger people. And they don't have, sometimes it's because they're disabled and they cannot drive, but sometimes it's because of poverty. Okay. And since you're working with Ivy Tech, does Ivy Tech have any uh, resources that they can <coughs> provide those individuals with? passes for public transit or anything, like uh, through vocational rehab or anything? Ivy Tech does not, does but okay. we apply for, with the, with the Learning Work Center, we apply for a grant every year to get a certain number of bus passes okay. that we provide to our students for classes only. <coughs> and they can't use them for anything else except coming back and forth to Ivy Tech. Okay. And that's been a long-standing practice. <coughs> yeah. But that doesn't come from Ivy Tech. That okay. comes from a local educational trust. Okay. That grants us money every year for that. Um, does the the learning center? I mean, I know that that's one of the uh, places that transit goes to. <coughs> uh, there's two different locations, right? One here in Wabash and one in North Manchester. Correct. Okay. Um, do they? How do you get your funding? Is that all nonprofit or <laughs> same as grant. Okay. Okay. Same grant. Nonprofit okay. community donations. We do get some state and federal funding now okay. through a regional consortium, but those funds are not allowed to be used for transit. So we have to use um, local resources. And we probably do anywhere from two to four thousand dollars. Started out five hundred dollars and it went to a thousand.